Hi there, my name is Jim Durbin. I'm the social media headhunter. I got my career started in St. Louis and I'm returning on April 15th to do a series of sessions for St. Louis staffing firms. We're gonna do basic LinkedIn. We're gonna do advanced LinkedIn. We're gonna do Facebook for recruiting. I wanted to give you a quick example of the slides we'll go through so you can understand what exactly has happened in the last six years since we first did our training. Uh, LinkedIn for executive recruiting beyond the basics. Uh, there's a new LinkedIn. Search is different. Uh, the way that we search from semantic fields is different. What LinkedIn allows us to do now versus in the past has changed. I've come up with a number of advanced methods that you can see that I've trained over 5,000 people on using to find candidates faster. Um, perfect example of what happened is it used to be the more connections that you had, the more people that you see. 400 connections didn't see as much as 4,000 connections not true anymore now you have to learn to research in a way that you haven't had to do prior to 2013. you have to learn to look at linkedin as an integrated 360 degree view of the internet what clues does linkedin give you to find information about candidates outside of linkedin we talk a lot about integrating all the different sites in a way that linkedin is the hub as you can see here but you can do a whole lot more we do a lot of sourcing projects i show you live uh, recruiting examples. I'm still a recruiter. I still run a full desk. I had interviews going today. I've got placements coming. I've been doing it since 2008. I've never really stopped recruiting. So lots of sourcing projects, actually walking you through everything from sales to technology to finance. Uh, and then we go in and I show you how I did it. We talked about advanced group, uh, advanced search. Here's an example of how you use groups. Uh, digging further into it so you can make sure you can see past your first and second degree connections. Uh, we walk into what semantic means and how it can help guide your search. And then we do Boolean. Boy, do we do a lot of Boolean because even Boolean has broken now. Google doesn't want you doing what you used to do. So we have to use new techniques and new ways to uncover the candidates that LinkedIn doesn't allow us to see. A lot of, a lot of Boolean. Um, we also touch job boards. You know, most of the time when we try to think of this, we, LinkedIn is a giant job board, but you can use Monster and Indeed and Career Builder and Dice in ways that connect with LinkedIn. And I'll show you how to do all those, including how to find uh, job orders, by the way. Um, and then we have a second session. Uh, the very first session we'll do is basic. Facebook's in the afternoon. Advanced LinkedIn uh, is, the, is, the, is the early afternoon. Uh, LinkedIn for recruiting the basics will be for beginning recruiters. Um, we, we go through profiles. We talk about what to write so that people will talk to you. We talk about what a profile looks like, how to identify candidates, um, settings that need to be made, what your picture should look like. Uh, we do basics of searching. Uh, we talk about connecting with candidates. You know, what do you need to write to get them to return your emails and emails? And we talk about how to get other details, like how do you get their email if, you, if their contact information isn't easy. Uh, the basic session, it really is for beginning recruiters. You may pick up a little something, but we figured we want to make sure we're covering all spectrums. So basic in the morning, advanced at night. And then we have Facebook. A lot of people don't know this, but LinkedIn was responsible for 10 million hires two years ago. Facebook was responsible for 18 million hires. If you're not using Facebook, you're already way behind. So what we'll do is I'll show you how I use Facebook to recruit live examples of how I've done it from digging around, uh, from using their uh, Facebook graph search, which is the way you search, um, just walking through events and pages, had just different ways that you can use it, not to mention how to filter, how to search, uh, the equivalent of Boolean inside Facebook. Things like people who I'm not friends with who work at AT&T, not a bad way to do some different searches. We do a lot of those. I'm showing you likes, check-ins, uh, former employees, all the different search terms that you'll need, not to mention how to use Facebook. It's not like LinkedIn. It's more information. It is hard to connect to people. So we walk through some of that. We tell you how to connect to people, but um, it's a different game entirely. So was, we'll cover some of that, but we only have an hour and a half. Uh, so as I said, Facebook graph search examples, account profile, how to do company pages. And then at the very end, if we have time at the end of the day, I'll show you some of what we do in an advanced class, which is very close to marketing. Uh, many of you don't know, but this is the information you can see inside of Facebook. It's fascinating. And you can do everything from uploading emails to run ads to specific people. Like imagine running software ads just to one client. 
trying to get all the developers out of one target that's out there. It's a fascinating, fascinating world. But I wanted to bring it up to you because I'm going to be there on the 15th. This is the video to promote it, so make sure you sign up. Um, uh, Mel Weinberg, the, the NAPS chapter, the MAPS chapter, and the uh, NKASSA. I can never figure out what it is, but it'll be on my blog, STL Recruiting. Keep it in mind, April 15th, April 16th in Kansas City. Make sure you sign up. See you there.